On the 28th of June 1914, a young Serb nationalist by the name of Gavrilo Princip shot the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Sophie, during their visit to Sarajevo. The Emperor of Austria, Emperor Franz Joseph, was outraged by the murder of his eldest son and set his eyes on the Serb nation to his south. The Serbs knew that there was going to be war soon, as they saw the Austrians mobilize for war and reached out to Russia, begging for intervention in case war broke out. On the 28th of July, the Austrians declared war on Serbia. Therefore, Russia declared war on Austria-Hungary, defending Serbia. Germany then declared war on Russia, defending Austria. And sensing that France might be preparing themselves, they also declared war on them. The First World War had just begun. With Germany now fighting a two-front war against France and Russia, the Germans deployed a plan called the Schlieffen Plan, which aimed at knocking France quickly out of the war and then sending all their soldiers to deal with Russia. This included the invasion of Belgium. Great Britain didn't join the war immediately. They sat out and watched as all the empires declared war on each other, but this all changed when Germany invaded Belgium. You see, Great Britain had guaranteed the neutral nation of Belgium to keep the peace from any more German aggression, but when they saw the Germans invade, they went to war. The First Battle of the Marne saw French and British troops confront the invading German army, who had penetrated deep into northeastern France, with at least 30 miles to Paris. The Allies' troops checked the German advance and mounted a successful counterattack, driving them back over the Isane River. After the Battle of the Marne, the Germans pulled back and dug into trenches and fortified themselves in Belgium. When the Allies advanced, they dug into trenches as well, and this would set the setting for what the Western Front would be known for.